Hey everyone, welcome back. This is a extra psychedelic episode about psychedelic music with full-on psychedelic effects. You may not be able to tell what CDs I am showing you, but we will try and I'll explain. And there may even be titles, colorful titles. You know what these are, right? These are mood enhancers. Look at them. Coming close to the camera. Are you ready? You ready? Let's do this. Psychedelic music. To be enjoyed in full-on psychedelic effect mode. Much more than previously. <laughs> We have the ever popular Nuggets first volume compiled by the great one whose initials are LK. He plays with the PSG. If you know, you know. Now this first came out as an album on vinyl. Then it came out on CD. I believe this might be the first issuing of it on CD. And there have been successive volumes. And even an anniversary tour, which I sadly missed over the past year, with guest stars galore. You know it, you love it. Well worth seeking out. Moving right along. Let's get that squeak again from the cat toy. Okay. Is this psychedelic? I don't know, but if you listen to it, it, you will, you will emerge from that experience a changed being. Ronaldo in the loaf. The elbow is taboo. Yes. Check it out, my friends. The Moog cookbook. Popular hits interpreted in a Moog instrumental style. Quite groovy, I might add. The tragic one, AKA Joe Meek, I Hear a New World. Is this psychedelic? Oh, I think that if you listen to this, you will emerge from this listening experience a changed being also. This is one of those that comes with a very popular music magazine we all know and love, Mojo Magazine, Volume 1, Instant Garage. Yes, but does this constitute psychedelia? There's an overlap where garage bands, rock and roll, kind of uh, percolated in the garage world and in that festering percolation cosmic brew emerged traces of psychedelia as you all know here's a modern classic of psychedelia the evenly divided spaceman three recurring my faves on here are why couldn't i see feel so sad and uh, When Tomorrow Hits is pretty groovy. I believe that's a Mud Honey cover. Is this psychedelic? In its own way, it is. Can we see what this is? This is Switched on Bach by Wendy Carlos. You know it. I know it. Does this constitute psychedelia? I would say it's a newer take on it. EBN, which is the acronym for the Emergency Broadcast Network, who put on quite the amazing live show. And I believe they just kind of dissolved and went their separate ways, much like things can dissolve. And this, this is something I believe I got at a WFMU. Might be a kind of homemade thing. 
And uh, this is uh, Merry Xmas from Eddie G. Isn't that a cool cover? Yes. There's another one of these from a music magazine CDs. Uncut Magazine. Acid Days. D-A-Z-E. Ooh, you know this is loaded with psychedelic musical goodness. And this lad. Is this psychedelic? But is he not a groovy, a groovy man? Does this not make for a groovy listening experience? And you, you know, hey, you see the shirt? See the name? Is this psychedelic? It is, my friends. It, it is. Not just mere traces. It's a classic. Happy listening.